Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars And let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars busy bags. This busy bag is geared toward my three-year-old. It does have choking hazards in it, so be cautious of that. These things are fantastic for taking on car trips or to restaurants. You can put them inside your purse and you can switch them out. They're super cheap, especially now that it's back to school. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below if you'd like to see more toddler busy bags. And let's get started! So for this project, I'm using some 97 cent pencil bags, sponges, glue, popsicle sticks, these simple cutout puzzles, I'll leave a link below of where those are at, scissors, some book rings, I got these from the Dollar Tree, pony beads, some clothes pins, and some paint swatches. My first bag is just matching paint colors, so I'm going to take two paint swabs that are alike and cut out little pieces of them to put onto the clothes pins. And the goal of this is to just match the correct colors to each other. My second bag is puzzles. You can use any puzzle you want, but I really like these because you can mix and match them and kind of have fun with them that way. I'm gonna go ahead and laminate these. They're all printed out on cardstock, which makes them a little bit thicker. And I kind of like these because she can make up her own unique animal. This next one is just cutting up sponges into rectangles for her to build different shapes out of. And my next bag is going to be a popsicle stick puzzle. This is very simple. You just take popsicle sticks, tape the back of them, and then draw any kind of shape or animal that you want to on the front. I am not the best artist, so I'm just going for a triangle. And then I'll number the bottom of the popsicle sticks to make it easier for her. And last, I'm making a cardboard abacus using yarn and some pony beads. And this is just going to actually be two little pieces. The first one I'm doing 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. And then the second one I'll do 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just like any kind of abacus that you can practice counting or making different kinds of designs. And that about wraps up this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you at the next video. Bye!